Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. I'm gonna start with the truth, I did record this video yesterday as well, but I did format that SD card without looking and I lost everything, so that's why I'm doing it again today. And I don't know about you, but I really love to watch this kind of video, so that's why today I'm gonna do what's inside my travel camera bag, because at the end of this month I'm gonna travel to Abu Dhabi. So without making this any longer, let's get right into it. First things first, I do own two camera bags. One is the Low Protectic 450AW version 1. That was a mouthful. And the second one is the Mosiso camera bag that I did a review on. And that's my daily driver. And I'm gonna tell you why I decided to take my daily driver with me. The first issue that I have with the Low Pro is the fact that the camera is pretty big and I don't really want to take that much camera gear with me. So that's why I decided to go with my daily driver. And the second issue that I have with the Low Pro is the fact that it's looking like a camera bag and it's drawing a lot of attention and I don't really want to have that kind of attention on me when I'm out and shooting. So that's why I decided to go with the Mosiso bag. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about cameras and lenses. The first camera that I'm gonna take with me is going to be my workhorse, the a7 III with the 24-70 f2.8 from Sigma. I decided to go with the 24 to 70 just because it's a really versatile lens and I can cover a lot of focal lengths so I can shoot a lot of stuff. That's gonna stay on my camera on the Sony a7 III, it's gonna stay like 95% of the time. And I might take with me the 35mm f1.4 because I want to do some night photography as well and having something that can step down to f1.4 is really helpful. Second camera that I'm gonna take with me is going to be the Sony ZV-1 that I'm filming on right now with some spare batteries, a tripod and stuff like that. I'm gonna use this camera for YouTube, vlogging and some BTS stuff. Third and last camera that's going inside my camera bag is going to be the DJI Osmo Action and the chest strap just because I want to do a POV street style photography type of video after I'm gonna go there. But we'll see how that thing will go because I've read the photography laws that they have and they are not really friendly. Next thing on the list is going to be my main editing machine, but I can't show it to you right now because I don't have it. I still need to wait 10 more days until it's gonna be here, but I can tell you what laptop it is. My new laptop is the 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro and I'm gonna do a separate video on that one when it's gonna be here. The next thing that's gonna go inside my camera bag, I went to the Falcon Eyes F7 because that's my go-to light for YouTube videos, small projects and it's really travel friendly and is packing a lot of features. The next two things that are basically living inside my camera bag are one, a big power bank to have some extra juice when I'm out and about and two, wireless earbuds. When I'm having long flights like plus four hours and a layover and stuff like that that I want to edit, I don't want to have like a lot of wires that are dangling around. So those two things are the next two things that are going inside my camera bag. Even though I have the laptop with me and I can copy a lot of stuff on the laptop, the next thing that goes inside my camera bag is going to be my Samsung T5 SSD because I want to be able to copy stuff on that too and backup data. And I'm taking that with me because it's really fast, it's travel friendly and sometimes I can edit stuff on it too. Last but not least, the last thing that goes inside my travel bag is going to be an accessory pouch. In that accessory pouch, I have spare batteries, spare SD cards, travel adapters, charging cables and stuff like that because I want to have everything charged and up and ready to go every single day. As you can see, I haven't talked about the drone at all and that's because I'm not gonna take the drone with me and I'm gonna tell you why. I've read the drone regulations and the drone laws and the fines that you can get and I don't really want to have that headache so I'm not gonna take the drone with me. So that's pretty much everything that goes inside my travel bag. There is actually one more thing that is not going inside my camera bag but is going on my camera bag. Let me show you. This. This is the last thing that goes on my camera bag. And this thing is really important, that's why I was kind of forced to do this little cameo. Now back to the video. And now I really need to end this video because I need to figure it out how I'm gonna like Photoshop a 16 inch MacBook Pro in my thumbnail, even though I don't have it right here to take a photo of it. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Stefan over and out.